Okay, so we're in the essentially the lobby floor of the Hammock Beach. This is where you come up, kind of walk out to. Basically, in the main building, every room will take the elevator down to the lobby floor and walk out to a seat like this. Or you can walk out to the floor below it and point out a few steps. Um, there's actually one below that that goes to the gym um, with the walkout separate. Alright, so in the main area here, where did you walk out? Just a kind of a concourse. Um, to the right is the uh, golf course clubhouse. There's actually a restaurant over here as well with a bar. You can also park there, so if, if you had a house or a condo farther away from the main building, you could just drive up here and then golf. Uh, the golf course is right in the beach. Oh, there's also a driving range as well on the beach area. Not directly on the beach, I don't think, but... Yeah, right here is... That's the Atlantic Grill, and there's also some condos on top of that. This is where the golfers start. Pretty attractive course. You get to essentially look at the ocean while you golf. We did not golf while we were here, but saw a lot of people who were. They had this area around here for kids. It was a bouncy house over the weekend. They had a phone party, some other things. It is Memorial Day, so there's a line that's being formed now outside of the pool area with the lazy river and the slide. And I think there's a total of four or five pools there. Here's a look back at the where I just walked from. That's the main building there. There's also an extension of the building on the right there. On the far right is actually a separate building. We did not stay or go in that building. This building right there is actually an indoor pool and spa. There is a, a gym right there and a spa that you could use as well. We did not use the spa while we were here. That's the bridge over to the indoor pool spa kids camp. All right, looking back on this, it's about 8.30 in the morning. This will open up at nine o'clock. I'm told that um, during normal weekends, essentially outside of holiday weekends like today, it's about a third or half of that. Um, we were here yesterday. I was here at nine in the morning, right as it opened up and I came, I didn't wait in line really, but as the line was progressing, I just hopped in and I was able to get a chair pretty easily even though it was a fully packed weekend. Um, but people that don't come at nine, if you wait till 9.30 or 10, you're probably out of luck. Um, I don't know what happens during normal weekends. I would guess you're probably okay, but... So they have this, one of the nice things about this is the whole thing is fenced off. So, you know, because of um, security and they have, they, they give you armbands. That's actually kind of nice for small kids, I think. You, know, you don't really have to worry about the kids running away. There's only one entrance and one exit, and it's that area I showed over there. Give another look at the Lazy River. This is actually quite pleasant. Um, it tended to get a little crowded during that um, late morning, early afternoon. We spent a lot of time in Lazy River. We spent a lot of time actually on the slide area. This area over here, you can't really see because of the bushes, is um, where the people with kids stay. A lot of people had drinks um, that they brought. You could order drinks. They didn't really allow coolers in, but we did bring one in, very discreet, and they didn't really care. It's a close-up of the kids' pool. Again, there's a pool. Again, we spent a lot of time in here. A lot of people throwing frisbees and footballs, had a good time. The top area up there, top deck, is the adults' pool. Adults only there, 16 and up. There's a bar and restaurant up there as well. That's one two, three pools. There's actually two more pools. 
that I won't show here. One actually has its own beach. There's another pool off to the far right over there as well. Okay, this is the indoor pool. Uh, we, we did use this a couple times when we were here. Um, it is, this one is, I believe is heated. The other ones are not heated. This is a lap pool, although I don't think this is a full 25 yards. I want to say it's 20 yards. There's actually two spas outside right there. Uh, one spa was working, the other one was not turned on when we were using it. Recreation area, we did not use this area at all. It looks like a little, well, little uh, game there. It's walking along the side of the indoor pool, and just another look at the main recreational area. They did have um, hands over here. Alright, so now I'm just coming at the lowest level of the entrance. There's a gym right there, a few people working out. The gym is, is looks like pretty big. It was not anywhere near full or really being used much while we we're here. I did not use it while we were here, but my kids did. Just give you a little bit of a look inside there. Again, pretty uh, pretty big gym, people doing yoga lifting weights, running, all that stuff. It's also a spa right here. Uh, we did not use the spa we were here. It was actually fairly full for Memorial Day, and I did not call ahead, so. There's the steps just up to the main concourse area.